Hello, this is Uwe. I'm working on my Hanbo HB8B, which is the same machine as a Conso 227 and also the same as the Psycho CW8B. Today I want to talk about how to center the feed dog movement inside the throat plate. And uh, there are two screws that we will have to access. One of them is right behind this hole here. And this there's a screw that tightens a clamp around the shaft that drives the rocker bar frame movement. The second screw that we will loosen is down here, and it is this screw here. This screw will loosen the clamp that holds the shaft, which moves the feed dog. So currently, when I look at my machine, And um, currently the feed movement is very much towards the back of the throat opening. So when the feed dog comes forward, there's a big gap in the front. And as it moves to the back, there's almost no gap at all. It's, it's practically touching the throat plate opening. So that is not right. Um, so let me loosen both screws. I'm going to loosen the top screw. Once I've loosened this screw, I can freely move the needle rocker bar. So this allows you to move things independently. I'm going to rotate the machine up just so that the needle is not inside the hole of the feed dock. So you can see that I can freely move the rocker bar frame to position it wherever I need it to be. The second screw, Tilt the machine back and loosen this clamp. After I've loosened this clamp, I can move the feed dog by rotating this shaft down here. This is the shaft that drives the feed dog movement. I can use small pliers to grab the shaft and I can move the feed dog like so. So you can see that I can move the feed dog independently and I can move the rocker bar independently. So what I want to do, it was against the very back, the feed dog was, I'm going to move it forward just enough to, I'm just guesstimating the gap that it used to, that I wanted to have when it's at the very rear of the movement. And then I'm going to adjust the needle bar position so that the needle points right at the center of the hole. And in this position, I'm tightening both screws again. And now I can double check the movement of the feed dog and needle. So as I turn it, it comes to the front, there's still a almost equal gap here in the front as it is in the very back now. So if I flip the reverse lever, you can hopefully see that the movement now is much better ba balanced and centered in the opening of the throat plate. So make sure you hand turn the machine gently to make sure everything is actually moving properly. You don't want to do this under motor power. After you're happy with the position, go back and tighten the screws again so to make sure that they don't slip as you're sewing because bad things will happen if those clamps let go while you're sewing. Hopefully this helps. Good luck. Bye-bye.